let's talk about buffalo wings. In America, we eat them all the time, especially when we're watching some kind of sporting event on TV, whether it's the Super Bowl, the World Cup, the Stanley Cup, the World Series, or even a game of cricket on Saturday afternoon. If we're sitting in front of a big screen TV watching it, we're probably going to be eating buffalo wings along with it. The recipe that I'm、uh, going to show you right now is a recipe that I call chun chun wings, which is a much spicier, hotter dish than buffalo wings, and also has a far more ancient Far East tradition. Chun chun is a town about an hour's train ride east of Seoul, and it is also the capital of Gangwon Province. And back in the day, chun chun was quite popular as a chicken processing community, so they developed a lot of interesting variations for chicken dishes. And their signature dish, at least in modern times, is a dish that we call dakalbi, which literally means chicken ribs. But we're going to use it with wings today. So let's go over the ingredients of this recipe. You may recognize the recipe because I used it some time ago in a dish that I called Chunshan style kimchi pizza, which you can also find on YouTube. Now that you've made your sauce, you're going to take that sauce and approximately two dozen chicken wings, and you're going to put them into a one-gallon freezer bag. Then you seal up the bag. And then you're simply going to take the wings. And mix them together until the wings are thoroughly coated with sauce. After your wings have marinated for at least half an hour, you take them out of the bag and you place them on a pre-greased baking sheet. Then you will take those wings and put them in a oven that you've already preheated to 350 degrees. Don't worry about whether they touch or not. It isn't like you're baking cookies where you have to worry about them expanding. You're simply going to put them on the sheet so that they'll cook. So put them as closely together as you can, quite frankly. Now, while your wings are baking in the oven, you're going to take one bunch of celery and you're going to already have them washed. And we're going to take these and we're going to cut them into strips. Now, after you've cut them long ways like this, you're going to take and you're going to cut them into smaller pieces. Now that I've reached the halfway point here, I'm going to take them out of the oven so I can turn them over.、And、this is a two-handed job, so be careful. Now, you might not have to do this this way, but since the oven, my oven, is down at the bottom, it's a lot easier for me to turn them over by taking them all the way out of the oven. But you might not have to do it this way. You might be able to just turn them over while they're still in the oven, which probably is the better option. But I'm improvising here, so you're going to turn them all over. And then you're going to bake them for at least another 10 minutes to make sure that they're totally done. Plate these here. This is almost going to be a contest to see whether these will even fit on my plate or not. <laughs> It's a miracle I got them all to fit on my plate. Now, traditionally with buffalo wings, you have celery and you have blue cheese dressing, and that's what you see that I have here in the bowl. 
I have blue cheese dressing here to go with the wings. But if you don't like blue cheese dressing, you can also use ranch dressing instead. You see here in the little bowl that I do have one tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds. This is totally optional. I just thought I would throw it in for the heck of it. So next time you have a Super Bowl party or a World Cup party or just any kind of excuse to try something a little bit more interesting than buffalo wings, give my chinchon wings a try. Thank you for watching.